which is climate change. And Vice President Pence, I'd like to pose the first question to you. This year, we've seen record-setting hurricanes in the South. Another one, Hurricane Delta, is now threatening the Gulf. And we have seen record-setting wildfires in the West. Do you believe, as the scientific community has concluded, that man-made climate change has made wildfires bigger, hotter, and more deadly, and have made hurricanes wetter, slower, and more damaging? You have two minutes uninterrupted. Thank you, Susan. Well, first, I'm very proud of our record on the environment and on conservation. According to all of the best estimates, our, our air and land are cleaner than any time ever recorded, and our water is among the cleanest in the world. And just a little while ago, the president signed the Outdoors Act. It's the largest investment in our public lands and public parks in 100 years. So President Trump has made a commitment to conservation and to the environment. Now, with regard to climate change, the climate is changing. But the issue is, what's the cause and what do we do about it? And President Trump has made it clear that we're going to continue to listen to the science. Now, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris would put us back in the Paris Climate Accord. They'd impose the Green New Deal, which would crush American energy, would increase the energy costs of American families in their homes, and literally would crush American jobs. And President Trump and I believe that the progress that we have made in a cleaner environment has been happening precisely because we have a strong free market economy. You know, what's remarkable is the United States has reduced CO2 more than the countries that are still in the Paris Climate Accord, but we've done it through innovation and we've done it through natural gas and fracking, which, Senator, the American people can go look at the record. I, I know Joe Biden says otherwise now, as you do, but the both of you repeatedly committed to abolishing fossil fuel and banning of fracking. And so by creating the kind of American innovation, we're actually steering toward a stronger and better environment. With regard to wildfires, President Trump and I believe that forest management has to be front and center, and even Governor Gavin Newsom from your state has agreed we've got to work on forest management. And with regard to hurricanes, the National Oceanic Administration tells us that actually as, as difficult as they are, Thank you, Vice President. there are no more hurricanes today than Thank there you. were 100 years ago. Thank you. But many of the climate alarmists Pence, use sorry, hurricanes and wildfires to try and Thank sell you, their Vice bill President of goods Pence. of a Green New Deal. And President Trump and I are going to always put Thank American you, jobs and American Pence. workers first. Senator Harris, as the vice president mentioned, you co-sponsored the Green New Deal in Congress. But Vice President Biden said in last week's debate that he does not support the Green New Deal. But if you look at the Biden-Harris campaign website, it describes the Green New Deal as a crucial framework. What exactly would be the stance of a Biden-Harris administration toward the Green New Deal? You have two minutes uninterrupted. Sure. So first of all, I will repeat, and the American people know, that Joe Biden will not ban fracking. That is a fact. That is a fact. I will repeat that Joe Biden has been very clear that he thinks about growing jobs, which is why he will not increase taxes for anyone who makes less than $400,000 a year. Joe Biden's economic plan, Moody's, which is a reputable Wall Street firm, has said will create 7 million more jobs than Donald Trump's. And part of those jobs that will be created by Joe Biden are going to be about clean energy and renewable energy. Because, you see, Joe understands that the west coast of our country is burning, including my home state of California. Joe sees what is happening on the Gulf states, which are being battered by storms. Joe has seen and talked with the farmers in Iowa whose entire crops have been destroyed because of floods. And so Joe believes, again, in science. I'll tell you something, Susan. I served, when I first got to the Senate, on the committee that's responsible for the environment. Do you know this administration took the word science off the website and then took the phrase climate change off the website? This, we have seen a pattern with this administration, which is they don't believe in science. And Joe's plan is about saying, we're going to deal with it, but we're also going to create jobs. Donald Trump, when asked about the wildfires in California, and, and the question was, you know, the science is telling us this. You know what Donald Trump said? Science doesn't know. 
So let's talk about who is prepared to lead our country over the course of the next four years on what is an existential threat to us as human beings. Joe is about saying we're going to invest that in renewable energy. It's going to be about the creation of millions of jobs. We will achieve net um, zero emissions by 2050, carbon neutral by 2035. Joe has a plan. This has been a lot of talk from the Trump administration, and really it has been to go backward instead of forward. We will also reenter the climate agreement with pride. Senator Harris just said that climate change is an existential threat. Vice President Pence, do you believe that climate change poses an existential threat? As I said, Susan, the climate is changing. We'll follow the science. But uh, once again, uh, Senator Harris, uh, is denying the fact that they're going to raise taxes on every American. Joe Biden said twice in the debate last week that on day one, he was going to repeal the Trump tax cuts. Those tax cuts delivered $2,000 in tax relief to the average family of four across America. And with regard to banning fracking, I just recommend that people look at the record. You yourself said repeatedly that you would ban fracking. You were the first Senate co-sponsor of the Green New Deal and while Joe Biden denied the Green New Deal, Susan, thank you for pointing out the Green New Deal is on their campaign website. And as USA Today said, it's essentially the same plan as you co-sponsored with AOC when she submitted it in the Senate. And you just heard the senator say that she's going to resubmit America to the Paris Climate Accord. Look, the, the American people have always cherished our environment. We'll continue to cherish it. We've made great progress reducing CO2 emissions through American innovation and the development of natural gas through fracking. We don't need a massive $2 trillion Green New Deal that would impose all new mandates on American businesses and American families. Thank you. Joe Biden wants us Thank to you, retrofit 4 million Thank American you, Vice President. business yes. buildings. It makes no sense. It will cost jobs. President Trump Thank is you, going to Vice put President. America first. He's going to put jobs first, and we're going to take care of our environment and follow the science. Thank but, you, uh, you know, On the issue of jobs, Senator Harris. let's talk about that. You, the, the vice president earlier referred to, as part of what he thinks is an accomplishment, um, the, the president's trade war with China. You lost that trade war. You lost it. What ended up happening is because of a so-called trade war with China, America lost 300,000 manufacturing jobs. Farmers have experienced bankruptcy because of it. We are in a manufacturing recession because of it. And when we look at where this administration has been, there are estimates that by the end of the term of this administration, they will have lost more jobs than almost any other presidential administration. Mm -hmm. And the American people know what I'm talking about. You know. I, I think about 20-year-olds. You know, we have a 20-year-old, a 20-something-year-old, who are coming out of high school and college right now, and you're wondering, is there going to be a job there for me? We're looking at people who are trying to figure out how they're going to pay rent by the end of the month. Almost half of American renters are worried about whether they're going to be able to pay rent by the end of the month. This is where the economy is in America right now, and it is because of the catastrophe and the failure of leadership of this administration. Thank you, Senator Harris. Vice President Pence, let me give you just 15 seconds to respond, because then I want to move on to Well, I, I'd love to respond. Look, um, lost the trade war with China. Joe Biden never fought it. Joe Biden has been a cheerleader for communist China through over the last several decades. And, and again... Senator Harris, you're entitled to your opinion. You're not entitled to your own facts. When Joe Biden was vice president, we lost 200,000 manufacturing jobs. And President Obama said they were never coming back. He said we needed a magic wand to bring them back. In our first three years after we cut taxes, you, rolled back president. regulation, unleashed American energy, this administration saw 500,000 manufacturing you, jobs yes. created. And that's exactly the kind of growth we're going to continue to see as we bring our nation through Thank you, this president. pandemic. Yes. But a Green New Thank Deal, you, your Vice massive President new Pence. mandate, your Paris Climate Accord, it's going to kill jobs this time, just like it killed I'm, jobs. I, 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 I just need to respond very briefly, uh, 15 please. seconds, and Thank then you. we'll move Thank on. you. Joe Biden is responsible for saving America's auto industry, and you voted against it. So let's set the record straight. Thank you. Yeah. I'd like to talk